About 1975, I started with Wiley as a law clerk. It was a great opportunity for me to see what the practice of law was really like two years before I got out. And so working with Wiley was invaluable. I mean, he had cases that I would never get to look at as a young lawyer otherwise. In fact, my, my time with Wiley, both as a law clerk and then four years as a lawyer, uh, really were invaluable and really made, I consider it the biggest influence in my career. I'm the oldest, and I was there as the train was gaining steam. I remember my father working for Vern Hunt as associate attorney. I remember when he founded his firm with John Bradshaw as a small two-man operation where he was the only one doing litigation in the firm. I can recall when he became president of the consumer attorneys. I can remember his first time he went to the appellate court. So as a child, I was a witness to the arc. His passion for the practice of law, I believe, is an aspect of his passion to better society. He is a very civic-minded person, if that term is used anymore. He got into the practice of law because he wanted to help people. He got into a practice of law, seriously injured uh, people, because that's how he could very directly see his efforts helping individuals from a very, very low place to a much better place due to his efforts. He's very outwardly motivated that way. What was so amazing about my dad is that I didn't realize all of the contributions that he made to the legal field until I was much older. Because to us, he was just dad. He was the one that coached our soccer games. He was the one that never missed one of my tennis tournaments. He was the one that would wake me up singing, good morning, starshine. He was just a regular guy. Uh, I don't think it was until the Laura Small case where we had this discussion because he was on the front page of the newspaper that I realized, oh, that guy is my dad? Like the goofy guy that sings and dances to MC Hammer songs? We never felt like that his job, his passion, his advocacy took away from us, um, it took away from our family time. I really enjoyed uh, watching the closing argument and, and, and as a kid, it was just such a uh, a source of pride to see your you know, dad and he's got, he just has an amazing presence and an amazing connection with juries. I mean, he, they, know it, they know he cares and I think that makes a big difference in his uh, verdicts and settlements um, because they know that and he connects to people in a very real way. He was always very cognizant to point out it's about protecting the community out there and making sure that if this happened once, it sure is not going to happen again on my watch. One thing about my dad, he's always been an extremely hard worker, and that's it's 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 a, a terrific compliment to him. He um, uh, he's a man that didn't take shortcuts. He put in the effort for his clients. And I always remember the one thing that he taught me early on was, and if you just remember that whatever's in the client's best interest. It's what you want to do. You want to protect the client. If you go through his career, you'll see all the work he's done in politics. Not as a person who's running, not as a person who's making that as a profession, but the fact that he's identifying people he thinks can make local or state or federal government better. And he puts his talents and efforts behind them because he wants those kind of people to benefit us all. When I think about what it means to be a warrior for justice, I really think about my father. It wasn't about the financial success and it wasn't about you know, being famous, it was really about helping people that cannot fight for themselves. 